since Rain, have you ever been in a fashion show? No, not yet. But, I mean, one day. One day? One of your big dreams you have? Yeah, don't you think? Make it fly down the runway? Oh, yeah, definitely. How about you? Uh, back in high school, I did a couple. Really? Obviously, you didn't learn much about fashion, huh? <laughs> Get out of here. <laughs> Kill a cheetah, put it around your yeah, neck. That's exactly yeah. what I did. Anyways. Fashion faux pas. <laughs> stay tuned to uh, see Wendy talk about counterculture fashion show. Yeah, you better be watching. Yeah, you too. Very closely. <laughs> I'm here with Sarah, the events coordinator at the Women's Issues Network. Um, Sarah, I understand you guys have a counterculture fashion show coming up. Can you tell me about it, what it's for? Yeah, of course. Um, so next Friday, um, which would be the 23rd, at about 2 p.m. in the Spoke, we are having a, a counterculture anti-fashion show. Um, this show is about bringing different representations of clothing and fashion to Western in an attempt to show uh, people at Western that there are other ways of representing their, themselves that don't necessarily coteau to the mainstream uh, industry, which in a lot of ways oppresses and doesn't necessarily help us as people, and in particular women. Okay, and so what's the message you're trying to send out to the people who come f to the Western students? Um, basically, that I, we want to make people aware. The problem with the mainstream fashion industry is that we are really um, constantly being surrounded by these messages of what what fashion is, what beauty is, and in a lot of these ways, a lot of ways, these can be really dangerous. So, something we're trying to represent and and put, bring across to people is that um, this industry, in a lot of ways a lot of ways oppresses bodies, particularly women. In that, it oppresses bodies through um, environmental destruction, which obviously the fashion industry does, through um, mass amounts of production and the moving of, of material, clothing, um, cotton, polyester, chemicals, all these things um, are making our world worse to live in for women, children, and men. Um, next would, of course, be the way in which most fashion Pretty much every clothing store uh, has clothes made from sweatshops, which obviously um, one of the biggest, largest number of, of, of peoples who are in sweatshops are women. And so um, in that way, the fashion industry is really oppressing and margin further marginalizing women in, in their space in this world and not helping them to be uh, further in our society. And lastly, of course, is the media and the way in which media represents fashion and the way in which we are supposed to look, the way we're supposed to appear, and the way um, beauty is represented in a way that often um, makes women feel like they're not good enough, that they have to co to a certain thing. And within that, they're constantly pushed the message of consumerism and having to buy, 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 buy to find happiness. So all these different things and these different messages and these different tools of the fashion industry are actually um, not helping us as a society, in particular, are actually oppressing women. So the point of this is not, I, don't, I know we're not going to... Um, get rid of the fashion industry. I'm sure it does some wonderful things, but um, it, it's just about opening people's eyes to the other avenues that are out there in which we can support um, other people who are who are working hard to try and um, fairly represent and, and work hard to end things like oppression in, in, in the fashion industry. That's really powerful. Um, how are you going about to do this, uh, what's going to happen at the fashion show? Are, I understand your clothes are made out of certain materials? Yeah, well, there's many different ways. So we, we have like, underneath those three messages, we have three different types of clothing we're trying to represent. So a lot of our clothing is uh, remade, um, obviously re reuse. So we're using some secondhand clothes. Um, locally designed, so local designers who are donating their, or lending their clothes to us. Um, kind of like rewoven, so different clothes put together as well as sweatshop free. And none of the models will be wearing makeup, none of the models will be typically uh, groomed the way most models would be. So we're basically, the most of the clothes are um, environmentally friendly. Well, all the clothes are environmentally friendly. Um, we made an attempt for most of them to be local and then the sweatshop free. And so we will be having messages throughout the show about, about different ways in which um, the fashion industry has done damage to our society, as well as ways in which we can, as, 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 a, as a school, work towards being more aware of these things and each independently take actions in our own lives to, 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 further, to further our world. 
So you want to get the student population thinking, but um, are there any concrete action plans you'd like to see the students taking, perhaps shopping at certain stores rather than others? I think that um, something that's important for us to realize is that um, when, when we don't think about what we're buying things from, it can be really dangerous. So a lot of times, if you just go into a regular store, you don't realize that most shops, most stores are supporting things that are really harming people. But there are some stores in London that are working really hard to, to change these perceptions and to move forward, are working really hard to move forward um, the ways in which we, we view clothing and are trying to make our world safer. So some of the different so stores that are supporting us would be 10,000 Villages, of course, which which is amazing. Um, Tribal Mountain, Mesh, uh, Wheezy. Um, yeah, those are just some, some examples of some of the stores. I, my, my mind is blank right there. It's wonderful. Uh, some examples of some of the stores that are helping us out. And so from, from, the, from the variety of stores, you can see the way in which um, they represent different parts, but they're in their own way. They're trying to make put a spin on fashion and make it more accessible and um, safer. Thanks. Thanks a lot. Um, so one more time. It's next Friday, January twenty third, at, at the spoke. At the spoke, two p.m. So make sure you're there. Looking for a new and interesting way to get involved. If you have an interest in the field of journalism and think you have what it takes to be on TV, then tvwestern.ca is the place for you. We're looking for people to be both on the air and work behind the scenes. It's an amazing experience, so don't be shy. Email us at tvwest.uwo.ca.